Hello everyone, I'm Japanese Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as Japan. We are now ranked 6th in the world as a great power. Amazing. So right now, uh, we just finished off a war against Dynam and Siam and all these people down here. We're going to reorganize our group, or our armies, to make sure that we're spread out, we have no supply issues, but comments. So, first comment is, can you rename, like, Saigon to Makiton? Or something like that? Well, I'd like to, but I... Don't think I can rename stuff. There might be a way to. This is Heart of Darkness Victoria 2. This is not HPM. This I'm not using the HPM mod, but uh, it is what it is. Um, I don't think I can change the name, so sorry to disappoint you there. Uh, next up, it actually leads me to my next point with HPM. This is, of course, without HPM or HFM or any other mods. This just has Victoria 2 with the two DLCs. I might come back to Japan someday and just play them again. But, of course, not in Vanilla or Heart of Darkness. I can play with Japan again in HPM, but I've tried HFM before a little bit. It's very, very laggy. It's very, very laggy for me. At least, perhaps, on this computer. But anyways, uh, we're ranked 6th in the world for military power, 7th for prestige, and 8th for industry. That's not bad, and we just got another national focus. Good, good, good. Let's double check. You are 4%. You are 4%. So, Seoul... Oh, you're not a colony. That's right. You're going to take this from... Kugoku, Kugoku, there you go, Pyongyang, sounds like a great place, you're going to take it from Tohoku, Tohoku, right there, cool, and three, and now I need to talk about this, just because we've been doing a great job on army, love it, we've been doing an okayish job on culture, because even though I want more education efficiency, it is what it is, I need to do more industry stuff, we need to do this, I want railroads, you, I have to do chemistry stuff, Ch chemistry stuff is really, really good, because you get all these extra techs, uh, eventually, really good stuff, but let's do railroads first, because I love, love, love railroads, this is almost a railroad simulator, but we have a little bit of time where we can spend our moments together, and make sure, ooh, consciousness and non clinical oh, good, to lower our infamy for now, and figure out what we're doing next. I believe that I should go and fight Guangxi next. Just because I want to get to, like, Hainan or something. They got some timber there. They got some silk. They got a little bit, uh, more timber. Revolt risk region. So that's not bad if I want to take that area. And connect it. I don't eventually annex Dynam. And connect all of this together. All the coasts as much as possible. I think that'd be a great idea. Someone wants me to take, like, Johor, but Johor, Johor is gone. Johor, yeah. Um, I could take Ake from these guys, but I think the Dutch really are going to take them out eventually, so I really don't want to get involved down there, to be honest with you. I really don't. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Yemen. Uh, oh, they're at war with Spain. What the heck? They're at war with Spain. I do want to take Ethiopia out eventually. Hejaz, Nejed, Yemen. Yeah, I definitely want to take Eritrea someday. I think that would be a lot of fun. Actually, what do they have here? They got fruit. What's the RGOs? Um, they got some coffee. Oh, I don't have any coffee with me, dang it. Oh, that's, that's a little late for me to drink coffee at the moment. Um, I mean, it's alright what they have here, you know. They got a lot of grain. <gasps> Ooh, they look like they got some rubber or tropical wood, rubber, eventually, maybe. A little bit, maybe a little bit later, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, just to have it to own it. Oh, hello. So we get more tack. Oh, look at this, breach loaded rifle armaments. But cost more supply, which is fine. Proto extensionalism. Yeah, I said that wrong. Whatever. Japan, you are half Japanese. A good chunk of you are Chinese. A good chunk of you are Korean. We got a lot of money. I love it. And I love how fast we're researching level 1 railroads. Good, because we need them. We definitely, definitely, definitely need them. And industry. Wow, we're level 4? And oh, God dang. But please, no one, please call me to a war. I do not want to fight any Western powers. That's like my deal with Victoria 2. I hate fighting wars against people who are equal or better than me. Just because I'm not really good at this. Or I'm good enough to, you know, do a small campaign over these guys, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm no Prussia. Or North German Confederation. Thank God we got roads. Let's do some basic chemistry. Get some fertilizer going. Ah, oh, thank God. But yeah, uh, last time we left... Oh, hello. France, you're fighting Spain, who's fighting a lot of different countries. And Belgium is fighting the Netherlands as well. Germany's killing, murdering Austria with it, Italy. And it's April 1860... And I believe the Americans already won their civil war. That was fast. That was really flippin' fast. Uh, railroads. That's right. 
Okay, let's go slow. I want to build up as many railroads as possible. I love roads so much. I didn't realize that we didn't have this after we, uh, you know, westernized. I didn't re realize that we didn't have railroads, which is a big no-no. Because I forget exactly why the reasons are. Oh, yeah, definitely build railroads in China. We have to have those. Um, but... I know they're good for, like, uh, capitalists. Capitalists. Transport goods faster or something like that. Something like that. Cool. So we wanted to take stuff. Yemen could be fun. They're only allied with Ethiopia and Hejaz. Even though Yemen really doesn't have much for us. What can I do with them? I could establish a protectorate. Becoming, annexing an enemy country. I could become a puppet. That'd be fun. Become a puppet. Uh, establish a protector. It sounds... Well, that sounds like more fun. Just because you can straight up annex them. That sounds like a lot more fun. And that would definitely put us in very close to Egypt. Because I do want to get the Suez eventually. Oh, they're partially westernized. Oh, they're fighting Ethiopia. This actually might not be a bad time to try to strike them. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting maneuver, as you say, Mr. Mokulaba. Oh, and... Oh, yeah. Madagascar's in France's sphere or whatever. I'll take a Guangxi eventually. Eventually. In time. And I do want to keep an eye on supply because it is improving in different places. So, that's good to, good to keep aware of. And, and I immediately get caught. Of course I do. Of course I get immediately caught. Whatever. Uh, what is Russia up to? Okay, so here's the deal. Like I said, I don't want to get into too many major wars with anyone. Except, like, the little people where I can bully them and have a good time with them. Uh-oh. I guess Germany peace out with Austria. Oh, that's not good for Italy. Well, that, that still might be okay. But, uh, w like, when you get to the 20th century, like 1900, you... The world unlocks the idea of great wars. Oh, look at Catalonia. That's disgusting. But, uh, great wars, and when that happens, it gets... It can become... If you win, it's very easy to take stuff during great wars. And the reason I'm bringing them up is because... Ooh, I can't increase relations. I've already done it. Or something. Because uh, you can get gas attack. And my god, do I want to gas... Things. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, that being said... That's just pretty much what I'm planning on doing. During Great Wars, just gas, gas, gas. You know, it's like a grill. You know, you gotta put more gas into it to get it hotter. Whatever, you know what I mean. Fantastic news. Get a life rating in Colonial Progress. One of our colonies is reporting astounding successes in the development of local commercial ventures and businesses to the Colonial Office. According to the local governor, the primary reason seems to be an ambitious land reform undertaken in tandem with Japanese capitalists and industrialists. The colony is reportedly becoming more attractive to immigrants, and the report reflects well on industrialists as well. Cover up the report, lest the capitalists get uppity. Oh, screw that. Give me more life rating. I think that's good stuff. I think that should be good, right? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Political... Oh, good. I do want to liberalize more so that we can get some more social reforms to get more healthcare to increase our population. That was fast. So, in, uh, by August, we got to go to war. And I do want to get more education systems. And the Polish have invented socialism. Uh, so, yeah. Against Yemen. So, by August. So, by August. Good. We got a fertilizer factory. I'm going to grab more medicine for even more supply. And then we're going to get more railroads. I love the railroads. Krakow. Yeah, cool. Uh, diplomacy. Keep good relations with these guys. That's always... Oh, they're at war. Who are they at war with? Oh, it's UK and Austria versus... Oh, Italy. Oh, Italy. That's not good. Brazil versus Paraguay and Chile. Huh. So. Uh, I'll, I'll send one more. The US loves us. France... I'm going to keep good relations with the Germans, because they just beat the crap out of Austria. Uh, yeah. Are you guys... Oh! Spain! Oh, Spain! Come on, man. That's so bad. Come on, Spain. Come on, man. That's not cool. Uh, there's a lot of different culture there. Huh. Can't get Ethiopia. Now, that's what I wanted this entire time. Plurality? That's good. And we're, we're going to have to kill off Hejaz, but that's kind of fine. It doesn't really matter to us. Our armies should be pretty good overall. Level 5 for military power. We went down a little bit, but you know what? Whatever. And we need more capital ships to increase our... Uh, our uh, stuff. Some, some dude died. Whatever. Go to war by August. I do want to lower my infamy if I can a little bit more. 
Look at that medicine, it's doing so great. 1861, so we can probably get more research points too. And, load by one more, thank you. Let's get on a ship. We're going on a boat to Yemen. And I'm going to grab another army from Southeast Asia as well. But we are starting to run out of uh, things, of guys, or armies to recruit. I want to establish a protectorate. You know what? First, I'm going to siege down Sokotorata. So I don't forget about it. And we're worth Ethiopia, not Hejaz. Oh, whatever. Yeah, supply issues. Yeah, it's pretty normal. Cool. Gadia. Actually, you know what? Blockade this entire area. Send the ships from Brunei over here. We have plenty of money, which is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go send you back down here and grab one more guy. Very cool. Ooh, dig. Uh, come over there. Dig deep and greedy more populist militancy. Yeah, where is this in? In Akita mine. Yeah, that's okay. You guys, I didn't realize supply was so bad right there, so. That'll be alright. And let's come back. Have we taken it? We have not taken it just yet. I need to put engineers on these guys. Good. More railroads. And then we'll do some organic chemistry. Helps our supply limit even more. Oh, look at that. We got a decision. Oh, so <laughs> Geneva Convention. <laughs> Less bad boy or infamy. Our country has not yet signed the Geneva Convention, delimiting and defining justified conduct of war and the treatment of war wounded. We can still sign it, of course. So we get more infamy, less monthly war exhaustion. <clears throat> uh, uh, so be it, whatever. I guess. We have to be, you know, okay. I can't believe the Japanese just signed the Geneva Convention. Can't wait to break that. <laughs> Uh, plurality, plurality, very good. Ah, oh, some enemies. Wait, did this... Did they just siege just The heck? You can't even see that it's been sieged down. What the heck? Oh, kill these guys off. That should be pretty quick. Nice. Very cool. Very good. Let's see what happened. We got just a minor bit of prestige. You can't even tell that this place has been sieged down. You have to look at down here. The controller who, who has control. That's pretty bad, not gonna lie. Alright, so do we have another guy over here? Yes, we do. Welcome aboard! I hope you enjoy your time at Badia. Or over here, Kokogua. And... Thank you, my friend. Actually, with the Spanish, we probably need to increase our relations with them so we can get uh, military access. Oh, good. Attrition goes down a little bit. That's awesome. Love it. We took the capital. Can I do anything more to the Spanish? Increase relations. Screw the Russians. Hello there. Come to Aiden. I wonder. Can we... Military access... Oh, they will accept. Very good, very good. I don't know I'm talking like this. I don't know. Alright, so you guys can cross very soon. Very good, my friends. Admiral's dead. Now that's not good. Hello. Alright, so we can probably just straight up annex you by now. Probably. They would accept. Yep. Annex Yemen. Cool. You can't. They didn't even change colors. Except it lost its name. Which is fine with us. Um, if anything, I'll probably put. Let's see. How many people live here? A thousand? 24,000. I'm probably going to put it... There's not a lot of good places to put a port. I'm thinking over here, but supplies... Oh, Santa is just the best. Let me just do that. Port, though. 25, 25, 50? Yeah, 50. That's where we're going to put the port. That's good stuff. Um, come over here, too. Nice job. Let's go in and... Oh... Consider legislation 14 hour workday? That sounds like a good idea for the people. Or do I really want the people to have freedom? I don't know. Culture, empiricism. Yes, absolutely. That's okay, I know attrition is just terrible in Ethiopia. I'd rather just piece them out. Can we? Oh yeah, let's do that. Good, I don't want to deal with you guys right now. You guys come to Badia. 
And let's go ahead and increase infrastructure everywhere that we possibly can. You're almost done down there. Saigon, your turn. Oh, what is that? Dutch Malaya. Ah, yes. Roads in the mountains. Glorious. Amari. Good. Road. And you know what? That's why I like having enough money so that we can build everything up that we need to. Tons of roads, my friends. I know I know you can use capitalists to build roads, but I personally just sometimes find it so much easier just to do it myself so I don't forget to do it later on. Good. Good. Government-sponsored roads. Please, just don't break down. Cool. And I'm going to let our guys rest for a little bit, or let our armies rest, just because uh, it's, it's looking okay, you know. Uh, you guys come over here as well. Get out of there. I'll leave you here. I take another group back. Abu Dhabi has been viciously refused entry to the country. Cut down to size. I don't mind. Maybe losing five prestige, though. Oh, I don't want to piss them off. You know what? I I don't have to go to war with them, so it doesn't matter. Cool. So you guys come here. And you guys are going to go back home. Or home enough. There you go. Back to Southeast Asia. Basically home. You guys could probably stay here for now. Uh, actually, you know what? Don't stay there. I want you guys to stay over in Qingdao. Because we still might need you over here. But not bad. Can I invest any more into our factories at all? Even though we don't have a lot of people here. Which makes sense. It's only 1862. Keep building it up. Because I want to make sure that we stay great power. By making sure we have enough of an industrial skull. Good stuff. Busan. Chubu. Alright, nice. Suppression efficiency goes down. More plurality. That's good stuff. Good stuff. So we need to fix this. You guys still need three more pieces of artillery. So we can fix you up here. Oh, and you guys have three artillery, huh? Well, if you have three artillery there, we could probably build up Ooh. Let's do. Let's throw in one of these engineers. This probably won't, won't be very good. One, two. That's three. Ooh. Attack is really good. Defense is garbage, though. Two, one, two. Throw me another infantry. Oh, throw me a horse. Yeah, throw me a horse. Yeah. Now we'll see what we have after this. Just because we need to spend some time not being at war. <laughs> Surprising, right? Okay, so if we don't have to be at war, pull this down a little bit more. Save some money. Lower this a little bit too. Make sure we don't spend too much on our peoples. Administration's cost gone down a little bit. Diplomatic bounce. Oh, we get some money. War indemnities from Siam, I think. Oh god, now I want to go to war. I don't want to get involved in your stupid European crises. Are you kidding me? What a waste of time. Actually... Uh, who had... Oh, you have iron. Can we build a fertilizer factory? No, we need sulfur. Where is sulfur? RGO. I don't see sulfur in Korea, which is fine. Uh, do we have any sulfur? Oh, we got a little bit of coal down here. That's kind of nice. Mm. Sulfur. I don't see any sulfur. Huh. Looks like we might need to go to war with some other states to get some sulfur. Oh, we got some opium. Give that to China, maybe. Yeah, and actually, you know, let's cancel our land access. I don't need it for now. But thank you. Thank you. Oh, wait. Chinese restoration of order to the Yunnan... Pro oh! Hello there. That sounds like a crisis. I am not interested. I'd rather... I might just rather lose prestige instead of doing that. Increase relations. Even to the French, increase relations. That's a good idea. Belgium's a great power. Wow. Just maintain good... Friendly contact with everyone. Don't piss anyone off too much, but establish good, friendly contact with them. Gotta be a little bit diplomatic with those Europeans, you know. Alright, so Guangxi. Oh, that's not good. Oh! Oh, China, you're not looking great in some places. Guangxi. I had to go to war Dainam again in Burma. I need at least one more army before I do that, so. What do we have here? 215. 215. Okay, white pieces is good. Good. Our literacy rate, over half our population can read. That's awesome. 
One, two, three, four, five, one, two. And you are a infantry, so we need like two more. We're building those two, we're building one, and build. I think we need one more. There you go. Oh, look at that more better life rating, good. Prophy prophylaxis against malaria. Sounds great. And Oh, intentions dissipate. Yay! Less uh, militancy. More research points. Great. State and government sounds like fun. Plurality. Oh, we need mission to civilize. I have to have that. I have to have that. I have to do all this stuff, too. I need to start thinking more about our navy, too. Oh, my goodness. There's so much to do, guys. Oh, uh, but state and government. I need a mission to civilize. I need to, need to, need to. I want to see what happens between the French-German war. That sounds like fun. Because that'll tell me who I want to really ally. Uh, population, military, mineral, hospital ratings. You guys have... Soul is good enough. Soul, take it away from Soul. You guys in Busan. No more Busan. Uh, Busan, and then Pyongyang is pretty darn decent. Pyongyang. Rock me in my cradle. More prestige. Oh, I get 2.1 prestige. And I get better relations with the Greeks. We don't know where the Greeks are, but that's okay. Happy with the Greeks. Oh, uh, we got some rebel organizations. Suffrage? Pfft, suffrage? Man, who needs a vote? Campaign for public meetings, maximum work hours. That's okay. Supply. Oh, look at that. 52. Once we get up to 60, I'm going to like combine armies together. That'll be good. I can make some Chinese stuff here. Oh, we're fifth in uh, military status. Great. 30, oh, 30, oh, I maybe we've won too many divisions, actually. You? Well, we can't really get rid of you. Give me you, then. You're good to go, then. Let's see, coming to Nagasaki. We're going to send our boats up there. Get him. Got a good amount of population. Japan is 55% Japanese. Radical times, man. Radical times. That's the case. I'm going to just delete you and instead form two more things of artillery. Give me one engineer. Can I have any Japan Korean? No. Uh, give me one of you guys. It's probably not good building engineers like this, but whatever. Army attrition. Send you guys two. Let's see. We have one, two. One, two. Uh, we'll fix that up with three. That'll be good. Send me another guy down here. I think we really need a guy, because I'm going to spend a lot of time down here in... Oh, another railroad. In this part of the world. Good. Keep increasing it. Pretty good. Keep building. Keep building. Japanese North Borneo. Good stuff. Good stuff. Japan has to be the industrial giant of the world. Sorry, one. Great. Pop growth, good. Alright, press is inverted. We get one more th uh, one of these. Cool. Let's get I want more railroads. Nationalism and imperialism. More nas another national focus. War justification efficiency. That sounds like fun. And maybe more railroads after this. So, what do I do now with Oh god, China's not having a good time. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like I'm going to go to war with China then. But, and this is a huge, but let's go to population. So my biggest place is Kansai soldiers. How will we get more soldiers here? Actually, our leadership points. Oh, maybe use, actually, instead of that, get some more officers. That'd be okay. That'd be okay. I kind of want to go to war with China, to be honest with you. The old man in the sea. Oh, four lose a little bit of militancy. That's good. It's always good not have too much militancy. So get three guys here. Two guys here. Dig deep and greedy sounds good to me for now. Uh, get another uh, person being made, right? Or somewhere. Where the heck are you? You're here. Where's this other person? Are they glitching the game? Oh, oh, you're over here. Oh. Okay, I didn't know that. My bad. And they're almost over there. Cool. 
The Yellow Sea. Great. And you are over there. Thank you. Kim check. That's good. This should be okay. But now let's go ahead and justify on the Chinese. And Chinese, I mean, oh, they actually pieced out. Maybe we could take, like, this area or something. Wenzhou. I think that'd be a good idea. Oh, no, they still have the Heavenly Kingdom. That's right. I don't want to get involved with they have the Heavenly Kingdom. Hmm. I'll take Formosa. That's a good operating base to have. Justify war, demand concessions. Thank you very much. If that's the case, I don't think they'll invade here as long as we have our ships, which would be good. So you guys will stay up there. Political reform is that good. I can probably take one of you guys off and send you guys here to come fight in China. Or at least Formosa. That's probably best to do Formosa. And then take one of you guys as well and go that way. That sounds like a good idea. My goodness. We're doing really well with education. Education? Education stuffs. Uh, let's check out our colonies. I'd love to see if we could like colonize this to become much more... Oh, Mission of Civilized is done. Good. Become more Japanese. Japanese Africa, Japanese Middle East. And these guys are still part of our puppets, I hope. Yep, they're still our puppets, which is good. Yunnan, we want Yunnan here too. Oh, we got plenty of this. Oh, what happened? What happened? Uh, oh, that was fast. We got a Cassis Belli, Cassis Belli already. Can't really influence the Chinese, these Chinese too much. Uh, we can work on that then. The United States loves us. North Germans, we want them to love us. France, we don't want them to be pissed off at us too much. Let's spend a little bit more time lowering our autonomy. Or, infamy, not autonomy. Infamy. It's 1866. We already had the Brothers' War. France, North Germany. And the United States is just sitting there. If I want to influence anybody, who would I influence? Mongolia might be good to influence. I already have Persia. Nijed? How about Afghanistan? Who everyone loves Afghanistan. Egypt, I want to kill them off some down. What about the Ottoman Empire? Can I get some points? So we need to go to war by November, let's say. I can influence them. They're kind of in the Russian sphere, which we don't like. But whatever. You know, it looks like it got maybe it got a little bigger. All I want is Formosa. Formosa. That's all I want. And you have no one on you. Which is kinda of sucky. Moralist resurgence. Spread the word. More moralism. Lose militancy. Let's get more moralism. Let's say everyone else is wrong. Taipei. Alright, so this is probably a bad idea to invade. Especially since I don't have a lot of armies. My, all of my armies are pretty much spread out, which isn't ideal. But whatever. Let's see, what are we doing, actually? Our top three exports are precious metals, too. We're imp importing a lot of fruit. You know what, we... Oh, oil. There's oil in the world, huh? It looks like artillery's hit rock bottom. Or pretty close to bottom. But before we go to war, let's give us a, like a month or so to make sure we have enough supplies. Forgot about that, not gonna lie. Forgot about that just a little bit. And... By November we should go to war. Give me one more month. Help lower our autonomy. Or infamy. Keep saying autonomy. Infamy. Cool. I guess they won't get any higher. That's okay. So, they're not allied with anybody, I think. Should be good. Uh, and we want Formosa. Oh, Chinese. Oh, can we get Hong Kong? Can I get Hong Kong? That sounds like a great idea, but the British might not like that. Just give me Formosa. I mean, you get, you get a lot more tea, probably, anyway, so... There's more people here, too. Formosa! Thank you. Great. Take the islands. We're going to siege them down, and then we've got to find a way to break into China. Plurality. Very cool. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. Industry. More railroads. Valley of the... Oh, what is this? So, the Valley of the Kings. Uh, Egypt is a potentially endless source of new archaeological discoveries. By petitioning the Egyptian government for a monopoly to carry out excavations in the Valley of Kings, we can ensure that we make these fantastic discoveries rather than another great power. So we get more infamy... Cool. The governor or government of Egypt has granted us the exclusive right to excavate and investigate ancient ruins in the Valley of the Kings. The potential discoveries there will prove an enormous opportunity for us to increase our scientific renown in the world. More prestige. 
and better relations with Egypt, and even more prestige. What is that? Burn the summer pal. Oh, burn the summer palace. Get three infamy. I need control of Beijing. Oh boy, that's not good. Uh, what do we do with our other slot here? Well, let's call it politics. No, population. Population. You focus on that. Cool. Good enough for me. Hopefully they don't come try to invade my other lands. For the love of God, please do not. Oh, and get into the water. Good. Old man in the sea. Fish. Less militancy, please. We can always buy more fish. Ooh, consciousness is going up. That's not good, because probably partially because of our, uh, this. Yeah. Okay, we got that. Awesome. Now, oh, and we can invade Hong Kong right now. What's going on? Anyone? Oh, uh, we're blockading them, which is good. Are they invading us anywhere? I don't think so. I'm sure you guys are doing okay. Oh, how many? Oh my god, how many guys do they have there? Actually, that's not that many. That's really not that many. Cool. We need a lot of war score for this. Uh oh, I see them. I see them down here by Vietnam. Or Dainam. New political parties, conservative national imperialists. Uh, what's the plot here? 30. That's okay. Move you up just a little bit, just in case they want to invade, which actually I hope they really do. Really, really, really hope they do. So we took that. I can't just peace out because I obviously haven't taken enough. We need peace offer seven. We need a little bit, of, bit more. I'm probably going to invade up here. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Oh! And they attacked me. Hold on, soldiers! We can beat the Chinese. And we lost 8,000 guys versus their 52,000. We got five more prestige for Colonel Suke. Suboy. Two boy. Oh look, bottom and empire. Thank you. Great powers. Ah uh, yes, yes. We love everyone except for the Chinese and some other Asians. Uh, can we peace out now? We won a great battle. Cool. Thank you. I love Formosa this time of year. Oh, uh, which one of you? There you go. Cool. Here come the ships. And build ourselves up. And Taipei, Tainan. Cool. That was pretty fast. Less war exhaustion, more morale. Great. Focus a little bit more on our infamy. And probably begin an invasion of Guangxi in just a little bit. Not just yet. Oh, look, 666. Six! Four sixes. Not bad. Uh, build more railroads up. That'd be good. I'm surprised the British haven't taken Burma yet. I usually see them take Burma. France is doing well. It's 67. Oh, more railroads. Good. Inorganic chemistry. I'm gonna grab that. Good. And start building more railroads. I am Mr. Railroads. You know what? If I can help Persia out, because they are in our sphere. I'm not sure this really would be helpful. Since this isn't my land. These are just Persian lands. But we'll see what happens. Maybe this is a bad idea. It's probably a bad idea. I don't know. Let's see. Oops. There's a lot of mountains in Persia. Also known as Iran. Cool, cool, cool. Build, build, build. Social reform is our good, good. Build stuff up here. That'd be awesome. And so, like I said earlier, I'm not exactly sure what I should. Oh wait do with my national focuses once I have enough, you know, clergymen. Bureaucrats generally seem to be okay in states. Not in, you know, non-colonial places. So I'm thinking I might put my bureaucrats in my colonies. Because I might want to see if I can make them become us. You know, statify them. Make, make, make them states and stuff. I think that might be a good idea to make all my colony states so I can take more colonies in the future, especially when we get to Africa and the rest of Asia that currently cannot be colonized. But I'm not really sure. Not really sure. Not gonna lie. Not really sure. But hey, it's good being at peace. Ambassador insulted. Uh, let's have good relations with the Russians for now. We don't want to piss them off too much just yet. In time, though. Trust me. In time. Uh, look at that. We're going so fast with our organic chemistry. I love it. So, really, I need more... 
soldiers. I want is a massive army, and this isn't big enough for me. I love big armies. Uh, I can probably build maybe 10 more, maybe, in Japan. We got 19 in Asia, so... Uh, one, two... One, two, so that's four. We need five, so we'll throw one here. One, two, three, four, and a horse. Ah, we can. Nice. Good. Go another one up. And we can actually lower our military spending, spend a little bit more money on ourselves, and maybe, you know what, even consider lowering our t the tax. Oh, actually, do we really need to No, we don't really need to lower our taxes. You know what? We're going to keep our taxes nice and high. <clears throat> Just don't tell the people that. And they're low taxes. You know, you know, we said we wanted to ally, but uh, so be it. For now, I'm just thinking about when we invade Guangxi clique. I'll invade them once we have another army up. Let's say that. I'll invade them when we have another army, more plurality. I'm hoping we can liberalize a little bit faster. Manchuria, Shogunate. Oh, oh, we're the imperialist faction now. Oh, we have state capitalism, jingoism, residency, moralism. Even though I do prefer full citizenship so we can assimilate people faster, but then again, I don't think people really want to assimilate into our country too much. Korea, Yemen. Uh, Hejaz, who are you fighting? Oh yeah, kill off the Spanish if you can. Do your best. Try your best. Hmm. Oh, we got plenty enough to do this. Acquisition of Abu Dhabi. Alright then. Very good. Oh, Austria, you're back. Well, that's not good for the Germans. And America loves us, so whatever. Ah, uh, this Ultimate Empire. Obviously, I'm not spending that much time trying to sphere other countries. That's not really my goal. That looks disgusting. What did you do, UK? What the heck? Why'd you do it like that? Oh, and there goes more. Okay, the Spanish really want Ethiopia. Jesus. That's insane. Uh, colonial migration? Uh, some more fish. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I'm not even researching something. What, the, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yes. Education. More, more, more education. Colonial migration. Empiricism is good to have. Uh, sure. Social Darwinism. That sounds like fun. And then we're going to do a little bit more... Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Ottoman and Jean... Uh, sure, British people. Sure. Mechanized. Oh, st oh, I should get it. Oh, what am I not doing? A steel factory. What the heck is wrong with me? Oh. Chi oh, Chinese reactionaries. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, I'd rather not be involved. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they're... Oh. Oh. They want to be back them up. Yeah, no. No way. I mean, you're in my sphere. It doesn't mean I want to fight for you, man. Alright, it's not bad. Sounds like we're building more metric. Oh my god, holy, what is going on in China? Reactionaries, they're trying to westernize, but they're not, it's not going well for them at all whatsoever. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, come on, Russia, come on, man. Uh, they lowered my influence in the Ottoman Empire. Demand concession. Russia, no. Uh, sure, Spain, sure. You let us do it, we'll let you do it. Uh, what's the last time we go to war with Dynam? Mm, Sudan, Sudan connection. Oh, we can go to war with Dynam whenever we want. Oh wait, we what? We had, oh actually, you know what? I need to leave these guys here because you never know if we might have rebels. We do have one of this, which I don't like. Average militancy. They want rights. You don't. What? what? No. Japanese reactionaries. I can kind of understand. Anarcho liberals. No. Yet many nationalists make sense. Korean nationalists. They really don't have that many, which is kind of good for us. And I'll get biologicalism, what do we call it? Good, good, good. Great. More education. Uh, yeah, I'm grabbing this. I can't believe I haven't done this yet. Artillery production. Oh my god, I, why have I not done this yet? Why am I so dumb dumb? Fertilizer, just build factories, factories, industry. Even if it doesn't make any sense, give me a higher score. I love the numbers. Cool. And good. More population growth. Great. Go ahead and start building this up a little bit more. Oh, wow, we have a lot of guys in Chubu. Hokkaido, North Borneo, great, great, great. Yeah, that's why I'm not taxing the upper class so they can spend more money on uh, building more stuff to make even more money. Ah, oh, love it. And we can get the Ottoman Empire. Thank you. Um, I do want to go to war with Dynam, but I need 
Oh, we already three have army down here. That's pretty good. Oh, I can combine armies now. I'm not going to do it yet just because supply is so bad down here. But give me this guy. We probably don't need to do that. Oh, wait. Was there a rebellion here? Oh, you're just injured a little bit. That's okay. How many guys can I... One. One. Nice. No Russia. Nope. Coal, organic chemistry. Oh my god, we hit 1870. Revolution and counter-revolution. More diplomatic points. Dogma of violence. Oh my goodness. Anti-egalitarianism. Social... Oh, I need to do this. Oh, but oh. There, was, there is a thing you want to get as fast as possible. I forget. Oh, we want the colonial negotiations, which means... We need machine guns, economic responsibility. Oh, I need to do this. I need to do this. Oh, God dang it. God dang it. I'm going to go with research points just because that's 100% is a lot. We would have a growing population with that stuff. Before we leave, though, let's see. Clergymen, we're done with Sariwan. We're done with Hokkaido and North Borneo. So, I'm not really sure what to do with these guys. So, actually, you know what? You guys could probably use some bureaucrats here from Sariwan. You guys could use bureaucrats from North Borneo. And you guys could probably use bureaucrats, uh, bureaucrats in Pyongyang from Hokkaido. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. What have we done? Well, what we have done was take Formosa. Lovely, lovely Formosa. We've also taken Yemen. Uh, Spain is getting larger in Africa. We've developed our research quite a bit more. We are really making people read a lot more in the country, which is very, very important. And, yeah, we did pretty well. We have Persia in our sphere, but regardless, whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your day.